off the couch, having a good time, throwing stuff at the screen maybe, I don't know, whatever you do at home, it's more excitement is coming up for the ladies. The ladies main event has taken the stage and let's go down to Aaron with more on this. After watching the men race, the mechanics that are relayed the message to use a different strategy off the start. Wait till that start gate drops, give it a beat or two, and then go to avoid that first turn pileup go around on the carnage. They said that this track is completely opposite from what it was earlier. It's soaking wet, and it's going to be a difficult challenge for these girls. Thank you for that, Aaron. Jeremy, if I was going to guess, uh, I would say the number three of Tara Geiger is not going to be waiting a beat. Yeah, I would say not like, any of the ladies, but I would Tara say is very aggressive and a silver medalist from the women's Moto X racing. Already here, she's the most decorated woman with four medals in X Games. So impressive and a big, a big course to tackle for the ladies. Yeah, yeah, for it's sure. I, I can tell you, she wants to put that Honda right out front as fast as she can, kind of have a clean track. And uh, we all have seen what can happen here in the back. And there we have it. Oh, 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 oh. Geiger is down. It looks like the 196 of Casey Martinez, our 2009 and 2010 works champion, got out to the front there. Uh, some chaos continuing. And. We got Forsberg in second. And you saw Geiger still hung up there. And right now, that 196, Casey Martinez, that is your leader. That'll be at six laps in this main event. And there's a good look as she gets through the sand pit for the KTM. And this, the course is so slippery. And I don't blame them for taking a look before they tackle some of these very wet obstacles. Now remember, the men have been racing, so they've been familiar with the course getting more and more wet or damp. Yeah. The ladies have not ridden the course when it was this wet. So, double jumping there for Martinez. I'm saying going out all the hills, on all the logs, on all the rocks after the water. I mean, it's unbelievable how this track has changed. Does it look like fun at all to you, Jeremy? I mean, it's fun to watch, but does it look like fun to, to race right now? I, it, I, it does look fun. It looks fun to ride. I'm not sure it looks that fun for me to race on. And the challenge, of course, I always look for a good challenge, and it's safe to say this track is challenging. And Martinez with good style, great control. 21 years of age. From Sunol, California. There's a good look from the rocks, and oh, oh problem. having problems. The leader is down, and the 411 Maria Forsberg, 2010 GNCC champion and five-time Works champion. So she is in this to win this. Both of these ladies are two of the best in the business, and oh, 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 oh. And so Forsberg chose the line. And it's all good to go around as long as you don't gain position on another moving rider. Because Martinez was down and in the, in the line, it's okay for Forsberg to go around. So right now, Forsberg on the 411. She is your leader from Seattle, Washington. And as I said, current Grand National Cross Country Champion. And she works full time as well, so not just not just a racer. She works full time as a union electrician during the week. So working and racing both full time, and that's the 411 of Maria Forsberg. And when you look at the, when you look at the track and how wet it's getting, Jeremy. You know, of course the men are going to be coming up, but. The, it's just so critical to think about the lines because now the most popular line is the line that is the most wet. Yeah, because the for bikes, sure. the reason why I think uh, a little footprint action off of the down motorcycle yeah. didn't catch that. Amanda Mastin making a, a spot for Forsberg to put her foot as she goes by there on her motorcycle. This section right here now, the popular line we're talking about is getting wet. 
more wet than anything else, but in that particular section, up and over, it seems like everything is wet. As we take a look at Elizabeth Bash. Oh, wow. Oh, oh my gosh. And, and that's how wet this course is. Elizabeth Bash taking a trip off the side of that hill, and she's rolling onto her arm. But she is headed back to her motorcycle. This is Sarah Price on the 78. And Forsberg continues to circle the track. Lap four of six. And you can hear the crowd cheering. They're cheering Elizabeth Batch going back to her motorcycle. And Forsberg looking for that gold medal. There's Batch back on her bike. Bump starting and heading down. Not able to get a fire just yet. Forsberg again, the number 411, the goal with KTM. She's really got a nice lead, and, and I think in her mind right now, I mean, this, this definitely is a race of attrition, so she's got a big lead, she's got to make it through the obstacles. A lot of the women are having struggles over pretty much everything here, so she's got to keep her moving forward. And look at this, she's got a jam up here. She's going around a couple of riders. One of them being Geiger, again our silver medalist from the Women's Moto X. And Forsberg spent some time practicing on a trial bike to improve her balance. Yeah, that's working out for her. And of course, the ladies not getting a lot of time on the course today. They did have some seating and practice sessions, but they never even saw the course until this afternoon at 2 o'clock, or actually 1 o'clock. When the track walk happens, horse built overnight, and Forsberg continuing to dominate. A rider over the bird there, almost jumping into her line. She's got some obstacles coming up. In fact, she's coming up on Bash, she's down again, right in front of her. We've got Sarah Price down. So our leader jammed up, getting off the bike to try to get around. I think Martinez, who just went by, is one lap down. I believe so, as is Geiger. As is Geiger, so. So, the leader trying to refire. She's safe. Her bike, and she's got to fire it up. So, not absolutely sure. Looking at timing and scoring right now. Uh, uh, Martinez stuck on the logs. And here goes Geiger going by. <laughs> Making the alternate that's the line. line right there. That's the line. Yeah, that's the line. And down into the log. And Forsberg having a problem on top of the hill as well. So, I mean, just an excruciating course to start with. Then you litter it with water. All right, so there's Geiger. Yeah. Passing it again. We think Geiger's down the lap. Well, this is a battle for second and third, though, but a lap down. Okay. okay. Geiger and Martinez are running currently. Geiger in second, Martinez in third. As we look at him here, and Geiger, the number three, the red machine. But this is your leader once again, Maria Forsberg. And she'll, she'll do a race weekend and fly the red eye east coast of Seattle on Sunday night after racing. She gets up at 6 a.m. to go to work. She's dedicated times two. Yeah, and riding a phenomenal race. I mean, she's looking really smooth out there. This track is super tough. She's got a lap lead. A yeah. lap lead. A lap lead is not a bad thing to have. Geiger down in the rocks. But Martinez having trouble as well right behind her. So Geiger gets up, doesn't lose a spot. Do you think she's saying this is a little harder than the Supercross track? Well, it's something that she trains on on the motocross. And, and, uh, uh, of course, we have super cross style track. And this is something she's never trained on or never ridden. No, I don't and, and, but being one of the top women's athletes, I agree with you. I mean, she's definitely saying, "Wow, this is this is tougher than it looks." This is the last lap, and this is Forsberg negotiating the section. <laughs> so navigating the last round section. No. White flag, still out to Martinez, and here comes Forsberg, your winner, gold medal action. Geiger in second, still going around, about a half left to go. And you can see how tough this course is, times 10, 
whether it's the men or the ladies. At second place, Tara Geiger, two silver medals on the weekend, not a bad effort. Not a bad effort at all. Yeah, but still, she's still got a couple quarters and yeah. two to go. Yeah, yeah. She yeah. can't count on anything yeah. here at Enduro X. And Geiger is, is, is bound up in the rocks. And Martina is not far behind, but Martina is having a problem. All right, let's see how Geiger does on the uphill here. Really wet. That's his button. We saw Geiger having an issue over there, and she's, she's uh, elected to go around. Taking the ultimate up. line again. I like it. Work smarter, not harder, right? That's right. She's got that figured out. Geiger from Puerto Rico is your second place finisher taking home the silver medal. Martinez, she figured out that line too. She's coming around, last lap section. And she will be a bronze medalist for the ladies. Yeah. Very nice job. So take a look there. The ladies happy to be done with this. Yeah, they are. Martinez looking up. With all the chaos, they may not know their finishing positions. But your gold medalist, Maria Forsberg. And in heck of a battle, let's take a look at how it shook down. And here it is, Geiger getting a little bound up and hitting that inside barrier. Looks like up on the brake. Yeah, it looks like down the hill she hit the front brake a little bit too much, crossed it up. And Ended up inside that barrel. And Martinez with her problems on her way to a bronze medal. Not over till it's over. Never is. And here's Forsberg getting caught up behind Martinez and Forsberg using some wit to go around on the outside. And this, Elizabeth Bash. You see her back tire sliding around, gets bound up. Takes a trip down the side and scary. Ow. Making contact with the lumber there at the bottom of the checkers for the number 411 for Maria Forsberg. And Aaron is with our gold medalist. Maria Forsberg did exactly what she set out to do, and that's overcome the pressures of that skins. Maria, take us through from the rider's perspective how challenging it is to overcome this track. It was really challenging because all the girls out here are really good riders and and girl cross about consistency, and so I try to just stay on the bike as much as I can, and that's it. The celebration is on, celebrating her very first X Games gold medal. A great performance, thank you, Aaron. Great performance by Maria Forsberg again from Seattle, but it wasn't easy. We can tell you that, and it's not going to be easy for the men, and they will be next. The last. Gold medal to be awarded at this year's X Games. Coming up.